welcome to the Meadows Investment Forum backstage interview. I'm here with Roger Moss, CEO of Labrador Gold. Roger, you had some very exciting news yesterday. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, sure, Chen. Uh, thanks, thanks for having me back. And uh, yeah, the excitement was really that uh, we'd found some uh, visible gold in Quartz Vein in outcrop uh, on our Kingsway property. It's uh, it was quite a uh, quite an exciting event, and uh, happened just on on Saturday when the ge geologists and prospectors were out and uh, came back to camp and were looking close closer at the rocks that they uh, that they sampled and decided to cut cut some of them up, and uh, lo and behold, it was this uh, this visible gold. Um, so uh, because of the nature of um, where we're working and the high interest in the area, I really wanted to get that news out and uh, as soon as we could. So uh, we, we got the news out yesterday morning and I think it's been well received so far. Well, great. How do you interpret that? Do you think it is the same system as style mineralization from, the, from here to the south uh, of Newfound Gold? Yes, I, I obviously I haven't seen um, Seen the the, the core from from Newfound Gold, although I did see some of their uh, some of their rock samples at the PDAC earlier this year, and um, the style of mineralization looks very similar to me. We have finely disseminated visible gold in what we call annealed quartz, so that's that's something very similar to what they have, and we also have these these this ruggy ruggy quartz, which is like sort of where, where minerals are being leached out, they leave holes in, in the quartz. And that's another thing that we see down in, in, in the pictures from, um, from the newfound gold, from the newfound gold mineralization. So I think that just the textures of the quartz, the, the nature of the gold mineralization, as well as we've, we've seen uh, arsenopyrite associated with the vein in the, in the wall rock. Uh, I, th I think these, these features show that we're looking at the same kind of epizonal gold system that newfound gold have been uh, have been have been targeting. Well, excellent. So, have you sampled other area in, in of other quartz vein? I understand this is from two different. Uh, this is two different sample. Right? Are you are you doing more or? What's your yeah? Plan? So I, I I don't I don't understand exactly the the relationship between the two samples yet. I haven't been out there. I'm going out next week. Uh, what I understand from our geos is that uh, the two samples that contained visible gold were 15 meters apart. Um, one was in outcrop, so the quartz vein outcrop. The other one was in subcrop, um, which is sort of a rubble believed to be in place, but it's not, it's not the solid rock. It's more of a rubbly, rubbly area. Um, they think that both those occurrences are separate veins. So we're looking at the possibility that we may have stacked, stacked veins, parallel veins. And uh, if that is the case, and we, we, we certainly have a lot more work to do to prove it up, um, that would be really interesting. As I mentioned in the news release, We've traced the, the main vein approximately 550 meters along strike to the northeast. Uh, we've sampled it in different areas, but really we haven't, we haven't cut up the rocks or the samples to the same degree as we did with this to, uh, to see the visible gold. So um, samples were sent to the lab yesterday, and so uh, we expect to get those back soon. Um, and, you know, I think... When, when you look at newfound gold to the south, they have something like five kilometer strike length of, of gold occurrences, including the Keats and the Lotto zones where they've been focused. Um, from the Lotto zone to our property boundary with them is about two kilometers. And from there to where we find the visible gold is about three and a half kilometers. So if, if we're, that if that system extends up that far, then that's that would that would be great news. And um, you know, we're certainly going to be doing as much prospecting as we can before before we get a big uh, a big snow dump to show exactly 
or, or find find this vein over as, as large a strike length as we can. Oh, excellent. So when do you think you can drill it? You can you drill it before the snowfall? Or can you drill through the winter or is it a little bit more seasonal uh, until it's getting too cold? No, we can we can drill through the winter. Um, it's uh, it the the logistics are a little different, a little more difficult, but uh, certainly certainly drilling in the winter is not a problem. Um, we do have to apply for a permit to drill in this area, um, and that is currently underway. We anticipate um, that would take about a month, so uh, we could potentially be drilling in this area early to mid December. Um, and uh, yeah, I think you know that's that's something obviously that we want to follow up very aggressively. Wow, excellent, excellent. So, are you going to use your rap drill rig again, or you plan some core drilling? Because since uh, this is looks so promising. Well, the rab drill is there. Um, it's uh, it's a little easier to permit the rab because of uh, it's less environmentally. There's a, a lesser environmental impact. Um, so I think that the initial drilling will be by rab, but uh, certainly in the new year we will uh, we will look to permit uh, to permit diamond drilling. We're already talking to diamond drill contractors, and uh, I would uh, I would be looking to get a diamond rig in there early in the new year. Early in the new year, okay, sounds good. So, so basically we are looking at maybe results uh, by PDAC next year or before, if not before that. Well, as I, as I say, I'm hoping that we will be able to, to do an initial test of this vein along strike with the RAB drill. Um, you know, we, we have 550 meters at least to, to look at, and I could see us drilling a fence of holes along strike with the RAB drill, especially since it's, it's close to surface. Um, and the RAB drill will tell us, you know, whether, whether there's, there's, there's gold in the vein over, the, over a certain distance. Um, and that will then prioritize targets for the diamond drill, which would come early in the new year. So if, if everything goes according to plan, we should, have, uh, we should have results well before PDAC from the RAB drill. And uh, hopefully we'll have some, um, some idea of, uh, of what it looks like from drill core before the PDAC as well. Well, excellent. So how is your balance sheet looks like? You just did a financing with the largest shareholder of Newfoundland Gold. Can you tell us uh, uh, what's behind that? Are they excited as uh, you are uh, to see there's uh, the gold extended to your property? Well, I, I would certainly hope so. Um, I think their, their shareholding has gone up a little bit. Uh, and um, yeah, I, I think, you know, what, one of the things that and I, I've talked briefly to Colin um, he thinks that we have a we have a good property here, um, which is of course why they wanted to get involved. Um, it seems fairly prescient right now. Um, with a month later, we're we're finding visible gold on the property. So um, yeah, I, th I think I think they're excited by what we have, and um, you know, it it really it really strengthens the whole district, and that we can we we can perhaps. Uh, speculate that this is not just uh, Newfound gold or just Labrador gold, but there's, there's, there really is potential for a district-wide uh, gold mineralization event. And, um, you know, that's, that's good for everybody in the area. Excellent. Yeah, if this is a new festival and this is a whole district, you're looking at one of the greatest uh, gold discovery in the history, exactly. you know, in the past decade. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, excellent. So just back to you, you, uh, you just did the financing. So you are fully funded for the foreseeable future, right? Am I understanding also have some warrant expiring this month? So that may create some liquidity for new shareholder to get in, to take a position of your stock before the drill results coming out? Yes, exactly. We're, we're very, very well funded for, uh, for our current program and for a, uh, an initial diamond drilling program. Uh, we do have warrants uh, that are well in the money and we are seeing those uh, starting to be exercised. And uh, the trading has been really good. We're, we're trading sort of a million shares a day, almost uh, quite regularly. So yeah, lots of liquidity 
And uh, I think that's really get great for all of our shareholders. Great. Can you find it? Can you tell us how many warrants expiring this month? And you know when? What's the date? Uh, you, off your head, you know what? When when the warrant expired? They're they're expiring on November twenty second, and there is uh, I think about seven and a half million warrants expiring. Okay, and the strike price about thirty thirty cents. Thirty, 30 cents. 30 cents. Okay, excellent. So that's actually provide a good liquidity from now to, to the end of November. Thank yeah. you, Roger. Good luck. I hope, hope to see you in the future and uh, to present your, your drilling results. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. Yeah, we're looking forward to looking forward to those for sure.